It's time for Guess That Baseline, the game where we play just the baseline from popular songs and see how many you can name correctly. All baselines are from major sections of songs, such as verses, choruses, or highly recognizable transitions. Naming the song correctly gets you one point. Singing or humming the melody will get you half a point. Any challenges will be decided by our distinguished panel of judges. Now it's time to play Guess That Baseline. Uh, welcome back to Guess That Baseline. We have yet another eager contestant today. This is Josh from the band Dancing With Ghost. Welcome, Josh. Oh my Josh. God, hi guys. Uh, are you excited to uh, to let the world know how good you are at picking out bass lines with nothing else? I am so excited. When I was a teenager going to the mall when I was 15, me and all my girlfriends loved the Smashing Pumpkins, and they're just one of my childhood favorites, and I'm so excited to pick out the bass lines. Fantastic. That's right. You did choose the Smashing Pumpkins. Quite frankly, the catalog's pretty big. We're going with the original lineup. Uh, which means the bassist is Darcy. Although, let's be honest, technically it's also Billy Corgan mostly. I know you're a pretty big Pumpkins fan, so this isn't just going to be singles. I've also got some deep cuts in here. You think you're up to the uh, to the challenge? Bring it. Okay, I'll give you a clean one. Bring it. <laughs> All right. Here is the first song. What is that bass line? That would be the bass line from uh, Cherub Rock. That is correct. Excellent work. Easy. Gave easy. You, gave you an easy one up front, yes. All right, you ready for the next one? I am. All right, let's, let's see if this gets a little bit harder for you. Uh, jelly Belly. I had a feeling you'd probably do pretty well on this, so hopefully uh, later on I got some. I mean, some if this isn't an indicator to anyone, you know, my lifelong dedication. Nothing here ever lasts. Nothing but memories. Never wanna know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So yes, that was Jelly Belly off of Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. All right. Let's see if I can get you with this next one. Okay. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros, you are just rolling through these. She knows, she knows, and she knows, and she knows. Yeah. Did, did you have any trouble with that one? Did, did, it, no. did it take you? No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm sure you f you discovered as you uh, were learning these bass lines, they they love doing the droney like octave like low to high octave kind of stuff, and uh, yep. which worked really well with how Billy played guitar and and all. So uh, yeah, I mean, you'd think I'd have a little bit more trouble because their bass lines on the surface sound like they'd be similar, but I don't know. What can I say? Well, I've only had a couple of guests on so far, but as of right now. Out of seven songs, you have three right. You're hundred percent, and you're tied for the uh, the record. The record so far is three songs. So if you get one more right, you're the reigning champ. Let's, Let's see, see if, if you possible. can get the next one if you're ready. I'm ready.
Any thoughts on what that song might be? Let me think. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I know this one. Well, damn it! Damn it! Let's ah! let's show you. Let's show you what it is. Through the yeah, eyes of Ruby. Through, through the eye, Ruby. Yeah, that's that's a good. That was a good. That I I know that song really well, but I did. I the bass line is not a legendary bass line by any means. That was nope. a good one. That's a good deep cut off of Melancholy. All of you at home, now is a good time to like the video since I have stumped Josh from getting a perfect score. Uh, so go ahead and give me a like for that. Uh, unless you were rooting for Josh, in which case give Josh a like um, by going to his channel. Dancing with Ghosts and checking out his channel. I actually did a um, a ranking of all the Smashing Pumpkins albums on my channel. So if you have any interest in the band and you want to know my thoughts on where all of their albums rank from the A to D tier, uh, you can go on over to YouTube.com slash Dancing with Ghosts and you can find that in there. Tell you somewhere. what, I'll even throw a card. It'll just pop up right up here and people can there click you go. on it. You're three for four. You're still tied for the top score. Ready for the fifth one? I am. And this time I'm mad. All right, let's let's see if you can get the next one. Where's your mind going with this one? Could can see the gears working. Well, I mean, at first I I almost thought it was uh, Chair of Rock, like the chorus, but I already you already did that one. Um, now the basicness of their bass lines are really starting to screw me. I'm gonna say I don't know, but I will say I have a suspicion it's off the Pisces Iscariot album. Okay, you wanna you wanna see the answer or hear the answer? Sure. Yep. Oh, wow. That this is, is a, obscure. This is a super deep cut. Set the rated Jerry off of the aeroplane flies high. Yeah, it was off. Uh, I think it was like the B side to. Uh, he did these like EPs. So like each EP he would drop and it was compiled in the aeroplane flies high box set and i think that was on the one that had bullet with butterfly wings as the lead and then this was one of the songs in that little ep i know i know this song but yeah there's no way i would have gotten that in a million years so <laughs> that's a good good one i didn't know i didn't know what you were gonna do with this but you're you're going all out with it and and, and embarrassing me <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate the effort that I put in because I knew you were going to be a challenge. So I really had to dig deep. Some yeah. might even say that that, that might have been a trick question, but I'm glad you did not say that. No, I mean, if, if it's got the original lineup, I feel like it's fair game. But I do include a trick question on every game of Guess That Baseline. And this is your trick question. I let you know up front. This next one is a trick. Any thoughts on the trick question? It's got to be a song off of Machina that didn't have the original lineup. I'll throw you a little bit of a, of a hint. It may not even necessarily be a Smashing Pumpkin song. Was it like a Zwan song or something like that? Or a Billy Corgan solo thing? I, I've given as much of a, of a hint that I can. I don't, get, I don't get the bragging rights on this one, I guess. To be fair, nobody has gotten a trick question yet, so... Here's the answer.
That was oh Promise God. by <laughs> Taproot. And for those wondering what the connection is with Taproot, Billy Corgan actually co-wrote and co-produced three songs off of their hit album Blue Sky Research. This is one of those songs. I feel like I remember hearing that. I, I always get Taproot and Trapped confused. I don't know why. Not sonically, but just the band names. Yeah, yeah. Taproot's far better than Trapped. Yeah, well, that's not difficult to achieve. Right. All right, well, two songs left, and you only I need one be- to become the world champion of Guess That Baseline. I want to become the world champion really bad, so I'm ready. Okay. If you want to keep up with who's the world champion of Guess That Baseline, hit that subscribe button. Right now is the perfect time. Go ahead and hit it. It's down there. Click the bell. All the YouTube stuff. Dude, they were so easy at first. It's almost like I planned it this way to get progressively yeah. harder. Is it Space Boy? Space Boy. Is that your is that your answer? I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Son of a bitch. That was by Starlight from Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Ah, you know, you're exposing me right now. <laughs> and I don't like it. You know, just I'm giving you reason to go back and, and listen even more. And you're uh, trying and to promote baseline awareness, I think, in a yes. very subversive way. I like it. It's smart. I'm, I'm trying to get people to take their bass player off mute. I got to get this next one. I want to be the world champ. Do you recognize that bass line? I do recognize it. I'm trying to, they have a lot of bass lines that sound like that. <laughs> is it Geek USA? Before we see if Geek USA is right, uh, make sure you're checking out Josh's band and channel, Dancing with Ghosts. October 24th, we have a new single dropping uh, called Obsidian Blood. It'll be available on all streaming platforms. You can like our Facebook page, which is Dancing with Ghosts Official on Spotify, on YouTube, as we mentioned before. I'll include all the links in the description for uh, everything Josh just went through. The good news is when this video comes out, the new song will be out and you'll be able to get it immediately. So go click and subscribe and buy and stream and all of that stuff. And now let's see if Geek USA is the right answer. Of course. Song off of Pisces Iscariot, I believe, right? That's right. Pisces Iscariot. The song is blue. Yeah, man, you did a great job with those deep cuts. All right. Well, you did three for seven. Go check out everything Dancing with Ghosts related. Uh, Thanks again, Josh, for joining uh like the video subscribe drop comments let us know how you did you keep making beautiful music and i'll see you in the next video ta-ta everybody did i just say ta-ta i mean bye sorry that was, was kind of lame whatever